hello everyone welcome to my channel so in today's video i'm sharing with you how to find schools in france the documents required to study in france and lastly how to apply to these schools in france and i also let you know you don't need ielts so for like those kind of tests when you're applying for a school in france so make sure you stay through to the end of this video so there are two ways to search for schools in france the first one is directly on google you can just google schools in france for international students or you can be specific let's say masters in economics for international students in france or masters in let's say food science for international students in france and you're gonna get a whole lot of schools what you have to do is to note these schools down and go to the individual websites of these schools to check out um, the programs the admission requirements and all that basically to know whether you are interested in the program or it's something you would want to go ahead and apply to now the second one which is the easiest on the campus france website for those of you who don't know campus france is a french state agency and their main mission is to assist students like you who want to study in france so when you go on their website which is www.campusfrance.org you're gonna find a whole lot of programs and what trainings are you looking for however i'm gonna put a direct link of english thought masters programs in the description box so you can check them out so now let's go to the documents required to study in france so generally it will be your academic certificate and your transcript and then you would have to write a motivational letter or statement of purpose which details your interest in program why france like why that particular school and all that and then your passport and your birth certificate and also proof of english proficiency but then if you are from an english speaking country like ghana like nigeria you don't necessarily have to write these tests like the TOEFL and the IELTS what you can do is to go to the English department of your school and your university I mean and then get a letter or a certificate that states that your bachelor's degree was taught in English the medium of, of instruction was English and even your primary and high school education was all taught in English and that will be enough for you to submit as your english proficiency and then you would require recommendation letters from either your school or your workplace and your cv or resume and any other required documents depending on the universities you are applying to so basically these are the documents like in general here yeah? These are the documents you would need when applying to schools in france now to apply to the schools one there are some countries that are affected by this procedure etudes and france or shortly the eef procedure i'll put um, a link in the description box that will list those countries so if you are in any of these countries that means that you have to do your school application on the eef portal and this eef portal is being managed by campus france so that means you don't directly apply to the school but on the eef portal you would have to create an account when you create an account then you upload all of your school application documents like your passport your academic transcript and certificates your recommendation letters your motivational letters everything on the eef portal and also you choose your programs and for masters you can choose up to seven programs you choose your programs and schools and everything and then campus france will review your file if everything is correct campus france will just um will then submit your application document to the school of your choice on your behalf so if you are in a country that is affected by the eef procedure that means you have to start application very early because the portal is open for you to submit your documents 
between october to december so let's say if you want to study in france next year which is 2023 that means october this year 2022 October to December, you have to submit your documents, create your EEF account, submit your documents, upload everything so that by January, February of the next year, Campus France can review your file and if everything is correct, will forward it to your schools or to the programs you have selected and the schools can then have access to your file and then make their admission decision so that by april may latest june you can have your admission results and then prepare for your visa processing and all that but for some schools although your country is affected by the eef procedure you can still apply directly to them because these schools may probably not be listed on the eef platform so you can apply directly to them and after you've gotten your admission, you still have to come back and continue with the EEF procedure. You'd have to create an account and you will upload your admission letter and then continue with the rest of the EEF procedure. And you have to know that the EEF is a paid service. But if your country is not affected by the EEF procedure, that means you have no business with the EF portal. So you can just apply directly to the school on the school's website or portal. You just need to follow the school's enrollment procedure. And then when you get the admission, you can just go on with your visa processing and all that. And if you have any difficulty, you can just get into contact with the Campus France office in your home country. You can just Google, let's say Campus France, Ghana campus france nigeria it will take you to the pages of um, the campus france local office in your home country you get your telephone numbers email and so on then you can communicate with them if you have any difficulty thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video